Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use SAR. This is video seven, and today we're talking about the arpeggiator and the MIDI modulation matrix. So load up a default patch if you haven't already. And for this demonstration, I'm going to bring the sustain all the way down and bring the decay kind of down as well. So we have a note kind of like this. Let's bring it up a little bit. So click this image line logo, and we're gonna to go to arpeggiator on the bottom right here. And let's turn this light on where it says play. Now, if we hit a chord or a couple notes, it's gonna start arpeggiating between those notes. And the way it does that is default is select on up, so the notes are going to ascend up and upwards in pitch. And then the range of this two is gonna be limited to two octaves. So if we wanna go three octaves, we'll turn this to three. Or to four. And so on and so forth. One octave is just going to stay in the same one. I find two is actually a pretty good middle point, probably why it's default. And then this other knob is going to determine the difference. So this one's going up and then the next one's going to go downward. So it descending in pitch. And then up and down is going to be these two together. And then random, you guessed it, a random order. Which is definitely cool, but sometimes I think too, if you're recording a song and you have this random on, it's never going to be the same every single time. So just take that what for, for what it's worth. Keep that in the back of your mind. And the next up here, we have the sync. So the speed tied to your host BPM. So we can select this button here. We have a little list. And right now it's default 116 if we want to go really fast. Or I'll slow it down a little bit. And with some effects, this thing can actually be pretty cool. The one thing I did wish the synth did have was an EQ because you can tell that it gets really muddy really fast. We can go ascending again. But anyway, I think you get the idea. So, and then the last thing we're gonna talk about is this MIDI modulation matrix, something I never actually really use in the synth. But anyway, this source here, if we click this right here, we can tell SAR what parameter of our MIDI keyboard or any kind of gear that we have. We can select that as the source. And then over here, we can select the destination. So you can have your pitch bend affect the master level or really what any other parameter that's located in this list. And this amount is gonna be how much of that influence is tied to that source. And these are six, which are basically the exact same thing. So you have six different choices of all these things. And that's basically SAR in a nutshell. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, let it drop a comment down below and let me know. And we'll see you in the next videos. Thank you for watching.